Hello viewers welcome to my channel today we will discuss on phenol coefficient it is important topic in microbiology in this video we will discuss why you use phenol coefficient how can we calculate phenol coefficient what we can interpret from phenol coefficient test and also discuss about some mathematical problems and another problems regarding phenol coefficient so stay tuned in this video first of all let us know why you use the phenol coefficient basically phenol coefficient indicates the efficacy of a disinfectant phenol coefficient is a measure of bactericidal activity of a chemical compound in relation to phenol bactericidal means a substance that kills the bacteria next let us discuss about disinfectant a disinfectants are compounds that kills microorganism except the bacterial endospores that is the disinfectant kill microorganism but not the endospore since this may be harmful to human tissue disinfectants are usually used for inanimate objects such as for disinfecting the surface floor table etc phenol is an organic compound weak acid phenol also known as carbolic acid the phenol coefficient test or the carbolic acid coefficient test was originally proposed by riddle and wecker in 1903 the disinfectant to be tested is compared with phenol on a standard microbe usually salmonella typhi or staphylococcus aureus is used now we calculate the phenol coefficient ratio to calculate the phenol coefficient ratio the formula used is the concentration of phenol that kills microorganisms in 10 minutes not in 5 minutes divided by the concentration of disinfectant that kills microorganisms in 10 minutes not in 5 minutes or the greatest dilution of disinfectant that kill microorganisms in 10 minute not in 5 minute divided by the greatest dilution of phenol that kills microorganism in 10 minute not in 5 minutes the latter formula is popularly used now after calculating the phenol coefficient ratio we get certain value from the value what we will interpret in this section we will discuss about the interpretation we have already discussed that phenol coefficient indicates the efficacy of a disinfectant so if the phenol coefficient is ratio is 1 then it indicates that the test disinfectant is as effective as phenol whereas if the phenol coefficient ratio is more than 1 then the test disinfectant is more effective than the phenol and if the phenol coefficient is less than 1 then it indicates that the test disinfectant is less effective than phenol now we have to discuss about the limitation of phenol coefficient tests phenol coefficient tests are designed specifically for determining the disinfection power of phenol like disinfectants however it has been observed that phenol coefficient is used for other purposes for which it is not applicable now we will move to the next section the mathematical problems here the determination of phenol coefficient of a given disinfectant is discussed it is found that at concentration 1 is to 50 1 is to 60 1 is to 70 the phenol kills microorganism in 10 minute and 15 minute but not in 5 minute whereas at 1 is to 80 and 1 is to 90 dilution uh, the con concentration the phenol kills the micro does not kills the microorganism in 5 minute 10 minute even not in 15 minutes here plus indicates growth and minus means no growth in case of disinfectant at 1 is to 150 and 1 is to 200 ratio the disinfectant k 
kills microorganism in 10 minute and 15 minute but not in 5 minute whereas in 1 is to 250 1 is to 300 and 1 is to 350 ratio the disinfectant does not kill the microorganism in 5 minute even not in 10 minute as you know that the phenol coefficient of a disinfectant is highest dilution of disinfectant that kills microorganism in 10 minute not in 5 minute divided by the highest dilution of phenol that kills microorganism in 10 minute not in 5 minute here the highest dilution for phenol is 70 and the highest dilution for disinfectant is 200 that kills microorganism in 10 minute not in 5 minute so that is 200 by 70 that is 2.857 so the phenol coefficient of the test disinfectant is 2.857 and the test disinfectant is more effective than phenol as we have already discussed that if the phenol coefficient of a test disinfectant is more than 1 then the test disinfectant is more effective than the phenol here the disinfectant uh, show the phenol coefficient is 2.857. So the test disinfectant is more effective than phenol. Which one is the correct statement? If phenol coefficient is 1, then option 1 is, then the test disinfectant is as effective as phenol. Option 2, if the phenol coefficient is 1, then the test disinfectant is more effective than phenol. Option 3, then the test disinfectant is less effective than phenol. And option 4, none of this. And the correct answer is, if phenol coefficient is 1, then the test disinfectant is as effective as phenol. That is the effectiveness of phenol and the test disinfectant is same. Next, which one is correct statement? If phenol coefficient is 1.8, then option 1 is then the test disinfectant is more effective than phenol. Option 2, then the test disinfectant is less effective than phenol. Option 3, then the test disinfectant is as effective as phenol. And option 4 is none of these. And the correct answer is, if phenol coefficient is 1.8, then the test disinfectant is more effective then phenol. As you have already mentioned that the if phenol coefficient is more than 1, then the test disinfectant is more effective than phenol. Which one is correct statement? If phenol coefficient is 0 0.75, option 1, then the test disinfectant is more effective than phenol. Option 2, then the test disinfectant is as effective as phenol. Option 3, then the test disinfectant is less effective than phenol. Option for none of these. And the correct option is then the test disinfectant is less effective than phenol. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel.